the MIRR function in Excel calculates the modified internal rate of return for a series of cash flows that occur at regular intervals. MIRR considers both the cost of the investment and the interest received on reinvestment of cash. Here is the syntax. Values. An array or a reference to cells that contain cash flows. Investment is entered as a negative value and income as a positive value. The values must contain at least one positive and one negative value. Otherwise, a pound due by zero error occurs. The MIRR function assumes that all cash flows happen at regular time intervals and uses the order of values to determine the order of cash flows. It is assumed that all cash flows happen at the end of a period. Finance rate. The interest rate you pay on the money used as investment. In other words, it's the cost of borrowing in case of negative cash flows should be supplied as percentage or a corresponding decimal number. Reinvest rate. The interest rate you receive on the cash flows as you reinvest them. It is supplied as percentage or a decimal number. Calculate the modified internal rate of return using this formula. Assume that the reinvestment rate is the same as the cost of capital so set both the finance rate and reinvest rate to the value in F3 which is 11%. Now change the reinvest rate on the same cash flow values. Pass F4 as reinvest rate which is 9%. Internal rate of return changes. MIRR function solves two of the IRR function limitations. The Excel IRR function works under the assumption that interim cash flows are reinvested at the rate of return equal to the IRR itself. But realistically, a reinvestment rate tends to be lower than a finance rate. Use the IRR function to calculate the internal rate of return. Now use that value in the MIRR function as finance rate and reinvest rate. It returns the same value as IRR function. Now change the reinvest rate to a different rate. Pass the value in F4 as reinvest rate. The value returned by MIRR function changes. MIRR function reflects the profitability of the investment more accurately because it considers both the finance and reinvest rate. If a series of cash flows contain interim investments, IRR can give multiple solutions for the same values which leads to confusion. Using different guess values, IRR function returns different results. For example, for the same cash flow values, when 0.5 is passed as guess, internal rate of return is 55%. When minus 20% is passed as guess, the internal rate of return is minus 18%. MIRR is designed to find only one value, eliminating the problem with multiple internal rate of returns. If the values argument does not contain at least one negative and one positive value, pound div by zero error is returned. The cash flow values are all positive here, so a pound div by zero error is returned. If the finance rate or reinvest rate argument is non-numeric, a pound value error is returned. Here finance rate is passed as text value, so a pound value error is returned. To download practice excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.